let's do this again because Super Auto Pets has been really fun. We're slowly getting more people to watch on Twitch. We're getting more people to watch on YouTube. The people are loving it. And we're doing the weekly today. And from the looks of it, I haven't done it yet. This is my first run. It appears to be like a complete summon weekly. I would say all of these guys are acceptable for my team. You know, if we wanted to go horse, we should have got it before. But you know what? Just throw... Nah, we don't, we don't sweat the horse. Let's get into this. Let's play our first game of the new weekly. And we are going to be the tired tugboats. Because it's not alliteration. It's consonants, right? It's got the, it's the double T's. That's good enough for me. And we're going up against the burgling sailors who have invested in honey. People have said, you know, many that are in the risk community are like, where's the honey pot in, uh, in Super Auto Pets? Well, you saw it right there. We will go horse so that when we summon stuff, I'm also, I know that there's always new people. So we might be going a little bit slow trying to explain our decisions. Horses mean when I give, when I summon my next thing, it's going to get a little bit of extra attack. So this horse is going to make my fish a little bit bigger. It just got a little bit of an attack. I'm going to pump you here. I'm going to bring another fish into the equation. He's going to get a little bit of an attack. And I feel very good about that. So let's go. Alliteration is both. Really? When it's like T and T? I thought it was called, I thought it had a different name, like consonants. I thought alliteration was just vowels, but I could be wrong. Anyways, we're going to see a lot of summons. I got to be honest, I'm not really like a summon main, okay? We're going full on anti-summons. Let the summoners, they're going to actually probably do pretty well in the first couple of rounds. <laughs> Don't tell that to me. I'm actually kind of crushing it right now. But once we get the anti-summon pets popping off in these higher tiers, we're going to be going nuts, all right? That's when it all, all comes down from us. Alliteration is the occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words, such as sweet bird sang. Wait, that's alliteration? Sweet bird sang. You can put a word in the middle? You learn something every day. When my friends level up, you're going to get health. Here's the problem. You're going to level up so we can get the jellyfish. Now, the jellyfish is not going to be happy, but oh my god. If this is a summon weekly, the best thing you can do is deal three damage whenever the enemies are summoned. We are going heavy on the royal flycatcher early on. And the fact that we've got it this early is, is actually insane, okay? Uh... We're not going jellyfish yet. I think jellyfish would be a good move. But what we're doing here is we're setting up for in the future, we want to be able to uh, to benefit from some of this. Now, there's, I don't think there's anything that we really do here, but we can roll one more time. We could sell to make room for something else. That being said, what would we make room for? A mouse? I don't think we're going to be able to improve this, you know? It will give me an apple, which we can get, you know? I mean, the horse is kind of dumb, but I love him. Whatever. I got I got a little love in my heart for the round five, though, horse. You're, you're kind of dead to me. Okay, let's roll with this. We upgrade. We get a little mouse. That's going to turn into an apple. Apple's going to go to our flycatcher, make the flycatcher stronger. Everything is going right. We're seeing a, some slightly stronger teams now. Get owned fish. My fish. He makes it through. We are too strong for this team. We should be able to take them down. Iguana. There's iguana in this one. I think iguana is going to be very interesting. Hello to Learner. Hey, you guys want to learn how to win three in a row to start off the weekly? Well, here you go. Uh, I'm not investing in a horse. I don't care that much. Now, there's, as you can see, there's a lot of faint and summons. Faint and summons. That's what's going on this week. So, I mean, for now, we join the summoners, but later we're going to betray them, okay? Flycatcher, you might be making it for quite a while. The difference between these and the others, summon one level one pet from the previous shop tier... You're not making it very long. Just join the team for now to help us win. We, we sleep on the horse. We sleep on the horse, okay? Welcome to the squad, mouse. I mean, join the party. Friend summoned if in battle gets health. We're, we're not doing any of that. A cherry perk. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's kind of lame, but let's run with a cherry. Whatever. Let's see how this works out. So now the, the cherry is going to give us some trumpets. So when this guy dies, we're going to spawn... Like a 2-2, two, two. I think that's how it works. Let's see if we can figure it out. All right, get in there, fish. A lot of summons. We're starting to see it. We're seeing some crickets. But the fly catcher is going to really help take down some of these guys. We should actually have fly catcher in the back is my thinking. But I got to be honest, why would I even think for a second that this was going to be hard? We're absolutely crushing this. 
So much going on, you don't get it. Don't worry, neither do I. It's all make-believe. I just kind of pretend I know what I'm doing, and I think that's that's the proper way to do it. It's <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a luck game where you just kind of pretend like you know what you're doing, but at the end of the day, nobody has any idea what the heck is happening. It's just kind of random. It's, it's just cute little pets randomly bopping each other. Give a random friend from the current shop tier attack. You know what? That would mean I only if I only maintain one, that means it's going to him. I think, actually, Baboon is good. Baboon! is gonna make my fly catcher stronger. And I think the fly catcher is here for a minute. So let's keep buffing that guy. I'm putting a lot of confidence into him early. Start of battle, deal health. This is the kind of animal we're gonna be running, okay? We're going snipes. We're building the ultimate snipe team this week. So this will deal damage to the lowest health enemy. And look, we're not, we're, we're not, we're not too concerned with that. I mean, maybe we could have made a different decision there. We're just simply not, we're not really concerned at the moment. All right, we're doing, we're going with lots of trumpets. If I have Cherry in the last position, why are you so good at random strategy games? All I do is random strategy games. I don't know. I do like this because it allows me to be creative. And I guess the honest answer, I don't know what happens with Cherry in the back, if it actually spawns the trumpets or what. I think it's just that like I, I spend a lot of time strategizing. It's just kind of how I go through life. I spend, I spend my life strategizing. I see that there's a lot of summons. I think to myself, okay, everybody, everybody else is going to see this week's pack. They're going to say it's all about summons, which is why I'm going to go with this Royal Flycatcher and then literally every single one of those summons that's crushing every single other team, they got nothing on me, okay? You go through the pack, you say, what is everybody going to do? You run the team that's going to beat them. That's the, that's the secret or, you know, it's at least worked for five rounds. Let's hope that it continues. You know... I'm putting just a lot of stock in this, and I'm putting stock in that we don't have anything. What we would love to do here is level up on seven, because I think the stuff at the higher tiers is where it's all about. Like a hawk, I'm thinking we can get a lynx, we can get a hippo. I think what we're doing here, we're so far ahead. I mean, I do like enemy summoned or pushed. I mean, we're going iguana, I think. But if we could level up, we keep the mosquito, because if we can level it up, Sorry, fish, we're, we're starting to pivot. If we can level something up, give me one fly here. If it faints, Groundhog, we sleep. Iguana, okay, so here's what we do. We go Iguana. So now on round seven, if we can level up one, we're gonna unlock something from a bigger tier and we're gonna be going nuts and we're gonna love it. I'm not sure how this fly catcher works. Not enough gold, okay, well then I'll just end my turn as I actually was intending to do. My brain is fried, can't even find the mouse <laughs> to close this. Perfect, yeah, some viewers, we end up streaming super auto pets. Some viewers are like, man, I really don't wanna watch this, but at the same time, I'm a little bit lazy and I can't find the remote. And those are the viewers we trap. We sucker them in with risk and we force them to watch against their will a little super auto pets, okay? But those watching on YouTube, they chose to be here, Twitch viewers. You're all coming with me. I mean, what you're witnessing right here is some of the greatest Super Auto Pets Weekly you've ever seen in your life. We are actually, like, slaughtering the Weekly yet again. Now, Hawk is just, like, a super better dolphin, but at the same time... At the same time... I'm sorry, Baboon. Apologies to the Baboon. We are going full... Enemy gets summoned, get dealt damage. Deal seven to the opposite enemy. Start the th three damage to the lowest, one damage to a random enemy. This is what we're running with. Mosquito has to go here pretty soon. Double can. We need one more. We get one more roll, we can maybe make it work. Now, we are not going to be able to unlock something from the next tier. And I think that that kind of stinks because now we just kind of wasted some rolls. Okay, this is a turn where all of our enemies are going to catch up on us. There it is, but a little bit too late. I guess we might be keeping Iguana. I hate to level them up on the next round, but this, this is the round where all of our opponents are going to catch up because we had a little bit of bad luck there. I enjoyed watching Sap. I don't really have anything to say when it's on. What do you mean? You can be like, aren't, aren't dolphins really cool? Hey, like, can you even imagine being a dolphin? What must that be like? Or I don't know. It is a little bit quieter when sap is on. People have no idea what to say. So I don't know if people are enjoying it or not, but it's all right. We're having fun. We finally suffered our first defeat. No sweat. 
The pivot has begun. So on round eight, we leveled the iguana. Sure. We get the rhino. Deal four damage. Rhino, you're my star. Get up in the front, bro. You are the star of the show today. We're going to do a little bit of that. And we're, we could put woodpecker in the front. I'm just not such a huge woodpecker fan. Now, I guess we're going rhino instead of hippo. I mean, you could go either way, but we already got the rhino. So let's, let's stick with that. I mean... Full giraffe here? I'm not even giraffing it up. I think we've got so many early victories that if we just keep winning, we don't even need a giraffe. We might need a giraffe because maybe teams are about to get a, a little bit crazy with it. This guy has kind of a team that I, I would like, but they're half summon, half trying to go for it. Do you like the rhino? Oh, well, let's do it then. People love the rhino. Look at that. Rhino just took out everybody in the back. Rhino is going to go crazy this week, I think. I think Rhino is where it's at because of exactly what you just saw. A monkey. You just literally have to always take a monkey. We can level this dolphin and then sell it. <laughs> then sell it probably. A mantis shrimp. My word. It's my dream team. Thank you. Iguana. And... Dolphin, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. We're going monkey. We're going mantis. The monkey is going to give make this rhino go insanely hard. Everybody other every other team in the book is going to have one of these. So we will do a small amount of scaling. You're preventing any enemies that summoned from from doing anything. You're still dealing damage to the second. Make that the make that the second position. You're dealing ten to the first. I mean. I, I think we've broken the game. I think. Oh, my God. And we're going to have a level two monkey on the next turn. Oh, wait. What was the beluga? I wanted to check that out. Royal flycatcher. It might not be necessary. It might not be necessary. I just don't know what we would actually be replacing it with. But I'm not going to invest more into it. It was kind of like an early superstar and it's still doing well. So it's still on the team. But we might pivot away from it. Now we are encountering some bigger stuff. We're seeing some ostriches. Everybody is surviving my attacks. We got to scale up here a little bit bigger, okay? These teams are getting buff. But we're still doing some excellent work. Rhino is insane. I think we've cracked through the weekly yet again. I think it's everybody else goes with summons. Just beat up on all the summon teams. All right, give me a super monkey. Give three tier fives. A bunch of stuff. That is great. Monkey, Mantis, and Rhino. It's, do we go scaling? I, I mean, I guess so. Let's try scaling. How could that fail? You get buff, because why not? A Durian is basically a skunk. I mean, when does this go into effect? Reduces the most healthy enemy. Honestly, give me a Durian. I mean, I've never run it before. It's never been in one of the weekly packs I've played. Let's run with a Durian. You got to keep the flycatcher. It would have destroyed that team. Flycatcher might make it all the way. I think if we run this back, we I mean, if you get a flycatcher, you might be able to run it the whole time. Look at this guy, though. Wait, this guy did some serious stuff. But our rhino is huge. Rhino is getting it done. Having Just giving that one food to the rhino won that. That one food, the rhino was there on one health. We saved him. We won by giving him just that one thing. And Rhino, you're taking a, you know what? Hawk, actually, Mantis, you know what? You're in this, we're going like this. The third might be weak enough that seven kills it. We're running like this. We're going durian strats. I don't care about cherries. I sleep on cherries, but there's really nothing else. Spawn a monkey on faints. I, whatever. I just, we, let's make use of our food. We're about to win this game. Literally, we took one death. We can do this in 11 turns. This could be an 11 turn victory. That'd be my best ever. Anytime I'm feeling overconfident, I play a few games of Versus and Sap. Many are saying that that's what they do too. I suppose I've only played the weekly. Maybe after this, I'll try to invest a little bit of time. I mean, God, this Rhino is just a monster. If there's other things we can do in Sap, we should try to figure it out. We spawn a monkey. It's as easy as that. 11 turn victory. That's my best of all time. Look at that. Now, as always, we're going to run it back twice. First game daily. First game win. Oh, my God. We get we get an elf hat. Look at that. We can put little elf hats. Do I need to put little hats on? 
I'm not sure. Let's run it back. Is it always that easy? I don't know. If we can do it twice, it is. I hate this. I'm going to take whatever you give me here. Okay, I hate this. Spend a trumpet, but I don't have any trumpets. Wait, this is literally unusable. This is a literally unusable team. So I need something that gives me trumpets if I even want to use this. This is not going to go that well. Some animals give you a trumpet. We're going to be the, the hopeful millionaires. That's me. Hopefully one day I'll be a millionaire. Some animals give trumpets, and then if nobody uses them behind, it spawns into an animal. Then, like, if you have two trumpets, we'll be a 2-2 two, two animal. So here, this guy is completely useless because we didn't have any trumpets. So we've already lost as much as we did the first time. Turns out it might have been beginner's luck. Mosquito went hard. So this guy is going to faint and gain a trumpet. And then he's going to spend a trumpet to do damage. So that'll work out. Mosquito did some good early work last time. Can't, bro, <laughs> really? Really with the Tamarins? All right, we're going, we're going Pied Tamarin this week. And I hate it. I hate it. But let's see if we can make it work. So this time, one of the trumpets should work. This Groundhog should, after he faints, make one trumpet that this guy will spend. It'll do damage to somebody. Let's see if that's how it goes down. There's the trumpet. He spends it. It does damage to somebody, but we're still pretty weak because this is kind of a pathetic team. I am doing very well, as is my family. Thank you, Link, for, for checking in. I appreciate it. Hopefully everything's going well with you this holiday season. Level three, let's give me something good, please. All right. This the baboon did was good. Baboon was good, but let's give the woodpecker a try. Uh, get owned, Tamarin. You simply don't belong here. And we gotta, we gotta roll again. I mean, faints gains a trumpet. Are we really going Groundhog Tamarin off rip here? What the heck are we doing with our lives? The, the first run, I mean, they gave me everything I could have ever wanted. Now we're playing on hard mode today. Shout out to Germany who has holidays early. I guess those of us in America, we're all waiting for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, but shout out to everybody having holidays that are probably more fun and more cool than mine. I, we drew that? I thought that was a win for me. All right, well, this is going to be a longer game. We know we're going to need to do better. I'm actually going to level up this Groundhog. I, give, me a whole new, give me a whole new team. This is not the team. I don't care. Just give me a crab. Give me a slug. Just change the situation. We're, we might be losing a lot. So give me a slug, just in case things don't go quite as well. Uh, we're going to go with this. Give me a mouse. We know how to use a mouse. You sell it, you get a thing. Ah, there's maybe some other games that are similar to this. What? Wait, what was that? I've never seen that. What, did they, what just happened? How did they spin around and then become a totally different team? What was that hack? Wait, what was that? I've never seen that before. I have no idea what that... Did they have some feature that, like, is just tricky? Did, that, did they actually change anything? Or was that just weird? It was just a team animation. God, it threw me for a loop. Iguana! Welcome to the squad. Iguana, you might be here for a minute. Take one of these. Bro, just get huge Iguana, and let's get, let's get poppin'. I think we're going Baboon. Thank you for your service, Mosquito. Just throw me a baboon. I don't even know if the baboon's gonna work properly. We're gonna go giraffe. We're, let's, we gotta get a little bit of scale in this time. Let's see if we can do this. You can replay it. Ah, so I could have replayed it and rewatched it and then we could have seen that silly stuff all over again. All right, Woodpecker, I think is gonna be pretty decent at this point in the game. Crab, you actually kind of stink as does the rest of the team. Okay, so I guess we're all on the same page here. We gotta get a little bit more serious. I like when you thank your animals. Well, you know, they're doing most of the work here. Me, I'm just I'm just moving the buttons around, hoping that everybody <laughs> everybody's having a fun time. Everybody on the squad having a fun time today? Go ahead and buff that iguana. Iguana might be here for a minute. Enemies hurt makes it weak. Works twice. Now we shoot to kill, okay? But we will as much as I kinda like you, we're gonna put a dolphin in here. Uh, should we level up the dolphin over the iguana? Let's give the dolphin some stats. Why not? And I guess that's all that we're doing for here. On turn seven, we level the slug. Slug's not here to stay, but the slug is here to 
help us unlock the next tier and this next one. Okay, we've pivoted. We've turned this around. This is starting to go. Crab's only good if you have a huge team. Yeah, we're not there that this week. And it's not a huge scaling week, so crab might be a little bit difficult to use. It's a snail, not a slug. My apologies to the snail. I would, I'm would. i sorry if I offended the snail. I can't believe this team beat me. Okay, but the pivot has begun. Starting now, wins only. Now, now we're getting the good stuff, okay? Now we're going to get the stuff that we really need. Just one snail is, is perfectly good. Monkey... We're going to invest insanely into this scaling. I mean, uh, we invested a little bit into the, I just, I simply, I simply like the iguana more this week. So we have to run woodpecker in the front. Otherwise it hurts our animals. So if you put the woodpecker back here, it's going to shoot the iguana. So I guess we're buffing the woodpecker, which means I don't really want to have a woodpecker in the front. I'd prefer to have a much better animal. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this. And then we're going to put the iguana on. Okay, let's go with that. What if we go monkey and get a huge scorpion? It's it's very interesting. I don't think this is the best week for it. So the scorpion will give peanut to the first enemy. So it'll take down like the slug guaranteed 100%. But then the slug is just going to spawn. I think this is a bad week for the scorpion. Because if you just if you're a summon thing and you die, you're just going to summon your thing right away. I don't think it's it's the scorpion's week to shine. Good job, monkey. Welcome to the squad. Would you recommend SAP as a career thinking of dropping out and going pro? If you can get 10,000 plus people to watch YouTube videos and you can publish a video every day, you could maybe do that. Better if you get more views than that, but you know, it would be a, it would be a pretty decent start. Uh, Snail, you were here when you needed to be. We're now buffing the hawk. Honest, we're buffing the hawk, okay? Woodpecker, you gotta go here pretty soon. But Woodpecker is so big right now, how do we ever get rid of him? Give me something good. If you faint, you make the last enemy ink. We have never ran a cuttlefish. Here's how I roll. If you're new and I don't know what you are, welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. You've just never been a part of the team and you're gonna be buffed out of your minds. We're going full cuttlefish strats, okay? You ain't never seen a cuttlefish like this before. Hey, it's Deanna Mirza, who could have been playing any game. Hey, thank you for coming through. It's been quite a while. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Big shout out. I don't know what game you were playing. It might have been chess. It might have been Super Auto Pets. But I hope you had a really good stream. Welcome to all the people coming in joining. We are playing the weekly. We did it once. We absolutely crushed it. We're trying it again. It's been a little bit of a slower start. Ah, Diana's playing in an over-the-board tournament. Ah, hopefully she did well today. Tell me she won. <laughs> Turn number nine. This is where everything comes together, okay? This is where true teams are built and horrible to teams are not. Ah, so whoever is controlling your accounts is a fan of me. Thank you, I appreciate it. Crocodile. Crocodile? Sorry, Iguana. We're crocodile. We're still running Cuttlefish in the front because I think it's kind of funny because I've never used it before. There was a Durian. We could have definitely done some good stuff with that. But we'll see what we can make work with this guy. We're, we're on the verge of having some sort of very acceptable team. I'm not at all concerned about it. I think we're going to do some good things here. We still we got a lot of work to do, but I think we're going to get there. We see some Pepper. Pepper on a Porcupine? This guy knows what he's doing. You got to turn 11 win the first try. Wait, me too. And then this time, not as much, but we're still on pace, okay? We lost a little hearts early, but we're on pace to win our second attempt here at this weekly. Uh, this is not the turn we really want to be messing with the leveling, but why not? There's still Rhino in here, right? Rhino? Octopus after attack deals damage to random enemy. Honest? I really want to try the octopus. It's new to me, and that makes it all worth it. Cuttlefish, just keep doing whatever you're doing, bro. We we go again, give me another octopus, maybe? I think beluga whale is hilarious. We're keeping that frozen. We're going to level up our octopus. We're going octopus mode. The ostrich might be good this week, so we here. Well, I'm all about that octopus. Basically, look at this octopus. It's already at 13, 15. It's going to level up. 
and it's going to be doing some serious stuff. Because so after its attack, it does damage. So look, it lives, it does damage. All these summon teams, it lives, it does damage. It lives, it does damage. Octopus is going to be the king of this weekly. And we got early Octopus, and we're about to have it level 2. This is the game-changing animal that we needed. With this many summons, Octopus is going to go insane this week. If you're not running Octopus, you're not doing it right, okay? All Octopus. A Mantis. A Mantis is better than a Hawk. We go Mantis. We are going to try to level up this Octopus all the way. All the way! We know the Rhino is a very capable animal. Move the Giraffe back one because it's level 2. Absolutely. Cuttlefish. Whatever, bro. Cuttlefish, I don't know why you're a part of the team, but I'm glad you're here. And let's go. Durian is also very interesting at this point. The summons are a big trap. Yes, I'm the guy that's trying to trap them. I looked at this weekly. I said, everyone's going summons. Look at this. We got a little summon. We got a little summon. This is all going to make my octopus go insane. We're trapping everybody out here. You run summons this week. You better not get paired up with me. Because my octopus is going to destroy you all. Look at this. From a lowly beginning, we have created a super team here. Hippo also must go crazy. Hippo is another amazing anti-summon team. For sure, for sure. All in on this octopus. Give me something. Okay, we don't get something immediate. Whatever. We just run a little garlic on there. Why not? It never hurts to have a little bit of garlic. The more every one of these little summons that's only doing like 1-1 one, one damage, you get hit with the garlic. I kill you, I do damage, you do literally nothing to me. I think we're going crazy right now. We're going real crazy. Yeah, we ran Rhino the first time. Rhino, Rhino led us to victory. It was easy mode. But I tell you, the octopus is king of them all. Look at this. Since going to octopus, we've been on an absolute tear here. And literally nothing's going to stop us. Pepper might be better, but I refuse to add it on there now. Explain. Oh, D-Rex, you're gone. I was going to have you explain yourself. No time to go poodle. No time for any of this stuff. We, we're just simply not. This, this doesn't really matter. Just take a croissant. Octopus, bro. It's got eight tentacles. One for each of you. Four trumpets. I mean, just, what are these people doing with trumpets? What are you doing with a pied tamarind at this stage in the game? Like, I get that it's Monday, and that's, you know, this is why we play Sap on Mondays, because nobody has any idea what they're doing, myself included. But, like, a tamarind on turn whatever, 11, whatever the heck we're on? I mean, you're just, you're embarrassing yourself if you got a pied tamarind at this stage of the game, bro. Some offense to my opponent, obviously. Give me some good, you know what? Just eat a durian, sure, why not? It's it's a fruit, it must be good for you. We're not going with cherries. We're, we could go double octopus, which is obviously hilarious. We're not, we're simply not going to though. There. Oh, there was a monkey, whatever. Whatever, here you go, here you go octopus. Look at this guy, He's gonna. we're gonna have a 50-50 octopus. Our goal is a 50-50 octopus and we're gonna get there. Who would win? One octopus or one scorpy boy? Your, the scorpion would be the counter to my octopus, not gonna lie. And I'd be embarrassing. A 1-1 one, one scorpion taking down my octopus, it would humiliate me. But we're going 50-50 octopus or bust, okay? We got one more turn to get there. I, I honest want to lose this round. Like, I'm not gonna throw on purpose, but I want to lose this round. Here you go, that's, that's good for you. I want to get up to 50-50, and I'm just kind of concerned that we're not going to get there. Oh, my God. Mantis, you really need one of those guys. It would be so dumb to save a fried shrimp. <laughs> it just would be dumb. It just would be dumb. Oh, 49-50. Okay, I hope I lose. Honestly, I hope I lose because I want the 50-50 octopus to be the one that wins. I don't know if this team has what it takes to take me down. It's not a summit team. They got the same idea as me. This guy has the same idea. And his execution was okay, but at the end of the day, we're not we're gonna only and we're gonna end with a 4950 octopus. But there you go. We won both our games this week. That's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. If you're on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you for a little bit more Super Auto Pets.